All right, listen here. This is uh, this is uh, Pat McCory. Honey, go ahead. Could you turn off the news for a second? Pat McCory, governor of North Carolina. The Obama administration's overreach is out of control. Sign the petition if you agree. Obama's executive orders are unconstitutional. Add your name. Sign if you agree. I, you know, I'm incensed, and I'm going to read what I had to say about this to you. I'm sick of this guy. I say, your attacks on the President of the United States feel smarmy and cheap while you sell out the honest, hard-working people of the state of North Carolina suffering 23% Poverty called obliquely food insecurity by the Triad Business Journal. You and your you and your administration fear honest objections to limits on voter rights. Though through no, I say through. I I'm sorry. Through the use of a playbook invented by the venal racist who managed the Wilmington coup in 1899, the same year the soul of the U.S. was betrayed with aims towards the colonialism of European kings. Your economist is petty. The man from 18th century economics who encouraged wave slavery for the landowners of Europe. I only corrected the calendar. That's what you'll be known for. Like some despot of the medieval ages with his first clock. A champion of Uber. A champion of fracking. A champion of the loan called a bond instead of good honest use of taxes. And the increases in fees and taxes hitting hard the rural poor forced further and further from where the jobs are, when it is now the desperate need, and rightfully in light of tax relief, offered the most wealthy. Same and right that even if other reason but to advance overall prosperity of all in the state, it is well understood and will be a cold day in hell, you or your party would dare enact a living wage. Oh, yeah, here's some shill. I agree, Mr. Pat McCory. So when are we going to see emergency legislation signed by you nullifying presidential executive actions in NC? And when are you going to initiate nullification of the Affordable Health Care Act in NC that you campaigned not to engage NC in? Oh, my God. Somebody at least goes on to say, Every, every, every I do, I, maybe I should read this again. I'll do a screenshot or something, see how better I do it, but I'm about sick of this guy. It is unseemly considering the state of uh, the well-being of the working people of North Carolina for him to be meddling or talking about whatever the executive does Outside, I don't know, on Facebook, and you know, come on, it somehow just sickens me.